Hello guys, so in this video I will count the words in the messages or in the text of each post and just count the frequency or how how uh, how many times the word occurred in all the posts okay so the way I will do it is so I got this function here is very simple uh, it will take a data frame and it will return a dictionary so a dictionary will contain a key and a value the key will be the word for example the word steam and the value will be uh, the number of times it occurred so any number so how it works is very simple I, I trade over every message and for every message uh, I will uh, divide it into words I will send them in uh, separated words and those separated words I will uh, trade over them I will strip it from any spaces I will make them lowercase because uh, right now I don't care if, it, if the word is uppercase or lowercase so all of them will be lowercase then I'll check if this word is in my dictionary if it is there so I will increase its value by one if it's not in the dictionary so I want to add it and make its count equal to one so I'll make words key of the word equal one so uh, this is very basic we will of course improve it because this is not good enough okay so uh, I want to call this function and let's okay done counting words now I want to see the result I will actually convert uh, words from a dictionary into a data frame so as you see I got uh, spaces I got many things I will, uh, the way we uh, convert from a dictionary into a data frame is we'll call band a data frame and we'll give it words.items and we'll specify the columns it will be uh, the word and its count so this is the key in a value and this way okay I got an error here um, Oh, forgot to add this. Okay, here we go. So let, just let me save this in the words data frame. And right now, words underscore df. So as you see, uh, we got a list of words and their counts, but we have many problems here. Um, first, uh, there is bun situation all over the place which will make uh, the count all wrong and second there is this empty and there is many uh, garbage around so just let's sort it and see the top results okay so the way you gonna sort is the same way we did it in the comments we will call sort words underscore df so here we go, sort values, and we'll give it the column name which is count, the one we renamed count here, and we want it descendingly, so I will set ascending equal false, I'll also call in place equal true, so I don't need a new data frame. So let's, let's take a look at it now. Ah, okay, I need to comment this. Just make a new uh, because it overwrite it. So let's sort again and just let look at it. So what do you notice? Yeah, the top words are the on off and uh, we don't want this in our analysis. This uh, those are common words. And plus we have the punctuation problems so I will edit my function to remove uh, both the punctuation and the stop words 
So the way we're gonna do this is uh, first to remove the punctuation problem. Uh, there is uh, in Python there is something called a string that I imported here. Uh, and now we're gonna use it. So let me go back down here. So uh, first call string the punctuation. I'll get uh, all the punctuation. So okay, so I got this function from uh, Stack Overflow, and uh, basically what it does it uh, removes any punctuation from a string. So for each word here, after we make it lower, uh, we want to initialize this mapping. Basically, it will map uh, any punctuation character into a non character, and we'll call word for word dot translate translate mapping. This will remove removes any punctuation and let's run it now and see if it actually worked so I will run this I will run it um, no okay words yeah because it says dict yeah of course so yep it's done and let's see the result yeah we don't have any more punctuation let's sort and check again sort yeah um so as you see the result is much cleaner now let's make uh, let's remove this this common words so in any group or page that you'll do analysis on you'll find that and those common words are always at the top so you don't want those, so uh, those are called stop words and the way you remove them is just make a list containing all the stop words and you'll find many lists online but this is my list so uh, I made this from all the pages I found uh, I always add to it so I don't need to make it every time so I'll just check if word let me after remove the fun the punctuation if word in um, stop words I will skip it continue and that that's it that will skip all the stop words uh, let's run it now Okay, run this, run this, um, sort and see the results. Okay, it's not sorted, so just let me get this, put it up here. Okay, so we got uh, what is this character? Mm -hmm. So this is our result, but there's still some problems here like this and this. So I want to add another filter. So if word lens is less than three characters, I will also skip it. And let's see now. Okay, so yeah, now it's much better. So now we got Steam uh, available time Pacific 10 a.m. Those are very close. So uh, those are the most common words on this page. Obviously, Steam is the number one word and available time. What about free or discount? So, uh, yeah. So, a better word to look at this is by blotting it. So, uh, 
if we filtered the way I told you about, so if we chose only the words that have uh, count over a thousand, yeah, and then chose those from the data frame. What's wrong here? Words, yep. So uh, we can plot them at seed results. So the way you do it is plot. You can do this to any data frame and then you give it the x and x equal word and the kind you need to make it a bar so so if you didn't specify this it will connect the dots and it will look ugly so oh hmm. something is wrong here oh kind what the hell yeah in order to view uh, the plot here in this uh, notebook you need to matplot make a call a magic function matplotlib line just add this line and it will work so uh, here you go those are the top words occurred in the all the posts that steam had since the start of this page okay guys so uh to make use of this uh, new data frame words that have uh, the count of words, I made a little, little script to to only show the the months. So I made a list of all the months, and what I'll uh, what I'll do is uh, I will filter the data frame uh, based on this criteria, which is the word is in months, so basically I'm telling it only show the words that are in this list. Is list, so I'm only showing months. So as you see here, the number one after May is November, which is a month that have the most Steam sales. So uh, the reason why May is have more count than November is May also may be included as. Uh, the other main of the month, the other word may have. So, if I just remove it, it uh, it will uh, show November as not number one month. It can be fixed, of course, by making it uh, case sensitive since I made it all small. So, this is how to count the words and perform any analysis on it. You can do many things. I want to hear your ideas about what we can do with uh, something like that. And in the next video, we will uh, count some words and we'll make some advanced grouping and counting. So I'll see you in the next video.